Dear sweetheart, I miss you. I can't stop thinking about you. I don't particularly want to stop thinking about you. If I could, I wouldn't. <laughs> so here I am. Do you remember my mom's funeral? I, I can't get it out of my head how how wonderful you were to me. Do you remember? She, she was in a white coffin. A simple white box, really. Nothing too fancy. You cried when you picked it out. God, I... I hope you felt like I was there for you. Because, well, you were always there for me. So... I remember after the service, we were walking over to my mother's coffin. I felt empty that and I felt cold underneath my jacket. It was cold, but I felt empty. Are you okay? You ask me. Yes, I'm fine, I said. Okay. God. It was windy. It was really windy. I swear to Christ, I could see the wind twirling in the air like in cartoons. You talked about how nice the service was, how it was a celebration, not a morning. And I told you, I wholeheartedly agreed. Whatever you wanted to hear. That's what people in love are supposed to do, right? Sometimes you just tell one another what we need to hear. And sometimes it's a lie, but sometimes it's still necessary. Nonetheless... So when you said, it was cold, I said, yes. Yes, it was. And suddenly it was real. In the service, we talked about her as if she was still living, but suddenly it was real. She was in a box. My heart started racing. I was sweating. God, it was cold. I pulled my jacket closer and looked away from the coffin. You asked me if I was okay. I nodded and looked back down at the box. The wind stung my eyes. There she was. There she was. She's in that box. I closed my eyes. I tried to calm myself. You put your arm around me and whispered in my ear that everything was going to be okay. I nodded, but my heart beat so quickly. I looked back down at the box and tried to focus on something, anything. Look at the white paint. Oh, there's a chip in the paint. God, it's pointless to get a nice coffin, isn't it? The wood decomposes, the paint chips away, and the worms get to them anyway, right? No one will ever see it again. And it's not like they will know. People only feel like they need to get a nice coffin for their deceased loved ones because it gives them a sense of control and the feeling that somehow they helped. It gives them a sense that they're doing something for their loved ones when they're not, they're not. Shh. I can't, I said and walked away. The wind was picking up and I was sweating profusely. My jacket was itchy. The wind twirled. We should have gotten her a better box. You came after me. You asked me what was wrong. Everything. I said, she's in a box. I know, you said. No, you don't. My eyes darted between you and the trees and the sky and the twirling wind. And my heart was racing. But you were there. And you held me. And somehow... Though absolutely nothing in the whole entire world was okay, I knew that somehow I'd be okay. Just because you were there. I bring this up because... Well, I'm gonna get you the best fucking box on the planet. Love. Sweetheart.